So here's a rattan ring strength workout. Um, I'm going to do three different exercises and I'm going to provide three different levels of difficulty. The first exercise is going to be a spear through and a grab. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the ring uh, in a double fist position. I'm going to spear through, roll my hands to the inside of the ring, turn it over, and shoot back through. The standard of this is important to maintain your hands at shoulder height. If your hands drop below that and you start shooting down here, you're going to lose the benefit of the exercise. So those don't count. Your hands have to be at least as high as your shoulders, as high as your face. All right? So shoot through, turn over, shoot through. Your face really should be looking right through the ring. So that's kind of the standard for that exercise. The second exercise is going to be um, a more static one where we're not going to do anything dynamic with the ring, but we're going to focus on gripping with the tendons. So I'm going to start with my finger just above the shoulder line and I'm going to extend my fingers out and then I'm going to grip and pull in, pulling the ring apart until my elbow is about uh, fist distance from my rib cage. From there I'm going to push back out. So pull in, pulling the ring apart, push out. Pull in, lots of tension on the, the fingers and pulling the tendons in and then extending the tendons out. Um, so it doesn't quite do the same thing if you just go like this. Okay, although at some point you're probably gonna get really tired, that's okay. But for the most part, you wanna try to maintain uh, a good amount of tension on the ring. So at shoulder height, pulling down and in, and then pushing out. So we'll do 20 repetitions of the first exercise where we shoot through and then turn, and then you'll do 20 repetitions of the pull in and push out. After that, we'll do uh, 10 dive bomber push-ups. So starting with your body in a pike position, you're gonna dive down, keeping your elbows close to your rib cage until you're flat. I don't care if you arch your back um, or if you stop um, in the plank position and then pull back up. But uh, the standard would be just uh, dive bomber down and then pull your hips back up. So you can do uh, 20, 20, and then 10, and then based on which level of difficulty you choose, um, level one, level two, or level three will determine how many sets you do. All right, enjoy.